is to do the biasing. Uh, but my goal is not to ask you to solve all the question, uh, complicated equation because I don't like that because now you have MATLAB. Uh, also, it becomes very uh, tedious. But however, you need to know how to solve it, right? I am not asking you to solve the final equation. I want you to be able to set up the equation. I have this circuit. You might not know what it is. That is fine. But the goal is that I want to know how I should bias the circuits. Now, in order to have a good uh, amplifier, we want to bias the transistor in saturation. So that is the question, right? So we want to bias the circuit in saturation before we apply the small signal. Because if it is not in saturation, you don't, you're not going to get a good gain, okay? So what should we do? So assume that I gave you D already because you know, uh, yeah, it is given, for example. And except that I don't know what type of R1 divided by R2 I should choose. So the goal is to find out what R1 divided by R2 so that I can bias it in saturation, right? The first thing I will do is what is the meaning of saturation, right? So the goal is choose R1 divided by R2 so M1 is in saturation. And what is the meaning of saturation? Look at the cheat sheet, or you've already remember, it is V, G, S minus V, T needs to be less than V, D, S. Okay? Now, you can try to think about yourselves, have some intuition. Well, I want V, G, S, okay, but sorry, I skipped one step. Another is, this is MOS, right? We just need to make sure that we label them correctly, the terminals. And again, because this is a higher potential, this must be the drain. This is the source, right? So now my question is, can I choose a G so that VGS minus VT is less than uh, VDS, right? For example, this is one volt and maybe this is two volt, right? Set, set and coordinate first, one volt, two volt. And then you ask yourself, is it possible? Is this possible? Or oh, yeah, if I make G really, really low and D really high, then that is possible, right? But if somehow I did not choose it right, the G is really high, it's going to induce a lot of current here, then the D will be very low, then you will go into linear, right? So you have this picture in your mind already now that increasing G is not good. Decreasing G will be good, will help me to achieve this goal. But if I decrease too much, what is the problem? You won't turn on, right? If G equals zero less than VTH, this is off. It won't work also. This has, this has nothing to do with how you solve the question, but I hope you can have this insight first, right? Someone give you a gag gauge, whatever you, let's say you are a cyclist, give you a new, uh, Bicycle, right? What you will, you will just uh, try to stand on it, right? uh, make a turn to feel what it is. Once you feel it, then you start have an idea and then you can start optimize how to ride it really fast or whatever. This is what you want, right? So this is easy. I just want to set up this condition. And then now what I need is to find out what is VGS and what VDS, right? So the first equation I will find is VGS. How do I find VGS? Yeah, it is VG minus VS and VG, VS is just zero, right? So basically this is just equals to v, v, VG, right? But what is VG? Very good. Some people just say the keyword voltage divider. Some people give me the full equation, right? Just VDD times V2 divided by R1, I mean R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now this one, you need to be very familiar with this, right? You don't want to go through Ohm's law again. But of course, we do this because we know I equal to zero to the gate. This is very important. 
If I is not equal to zero, then you cannot do this, right? Then you need to go for KCL, right? So I have with it. So from here, I kind of uh, find that, hey, R1 divided by R2 is going to help me determine VG. Okay, so I, but I introduced one new variable, VG, right? So I still need to know what is VD. How do we find the VD? VD is this point. What is VD? We did something similar last time. Just start from VDD. Right? You are the electron. You are the charge. You are the water. You start from 1.8 meter high. Now you start going down because you see the resistance is going to have a potential drop, right? How much is the drop? Minus ID, RD, exactly, right? Again, you can use Ohm's law because VDD minus VD equals to divided by RD equal to ID, right? right? So we need to recognize that this whole thing is ID. Okay, but okay, I have one more equation so I can plug in here, but then I introduce a new variable, which is ID. And what is ID? What is ID? Yeah, someone say VDD minus VD divided by RD, but then it will be the same equation, right? But we have another equation, isn't that? We spent two weeks. Exactly, the transistor equation, right? But which one should I use? Because I want to make it in saturation, right? So I need to use the saturation one. VGS minus VT squared. So here we ignore channel length modulation, lambda equal to uh, zero. So I just use the simple one. But when I introduce this, I don't know VG again, right? But however, I have VG here already. So I have three equations. Yes, it's troublesome, right? Uh, this is, uh, what is this? Uh, this is just equation one. I can plug in, right? So then I can start doing this. I need VGS minus VT less than VDS. Now I do have VGS, which is VDD minus R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Not times, not minus. That is VGS minus VT, right? Less than VDS. I know what is VDS is VDD minus RD times ID, right? This is from the second equation. But ID, I can get it from the third equation. Right? This one is from the first equation. And then RD, this is from the second equation, VDD minus ID RD. And then, but for ID, I need to substitute from the third equation, right? But then I have VGS again, but no problem. I just substitute one more time, right? So let me uh, find out. This is from the first equation. This is from the second equation. This is from the third equation. And I'm going to need the first equation one more time, right? Maybe I just erase this one. And with this, I put everything together. I will have R1 divided by R2 in this equation. Just arrange the term. Then I will know what, should, what R1 divided by R2 I should pick. For example, you may say R1 divided by R2 needs to be, uh, should be what? Uh, less than, or actually larger than a certain ratio so that this is low enough, right? Larger than 10, for example, right? So we are not going to solve it. I also don't plan to have this type of uh, complicated stuff, right, in the exam. But you need to be able to set up the equation, right? If I ask you to set them up, I might not ask you to solve it. But at least you know what are the constraints, right? Now, when you have so many equations, if you don't have an insight of how it is changing your requirement, you will get lost very easily. But that's why I want you to look into this.
Okay. Okay, then uh, let's move forward to another example, right? So what type of uh, transistor is this? I look at arrow, I know this is. Hmm? MOS, right? Because the arrow is pointing out. And then because of this, I did know this is string, this is source, this is gate. Okay. So how is it different from the other? The, the difference here is that our VS is not equal to zero. Right? Because I have a degeneration resistor between the source and the graph. Right? So what is Vs? This is the first equation I can get. Vs, I say equal to what? 0 plus I DRS. Last time we go from the top of the hill and then go down, right? This time start from the zero from the ground. And I say when I go up through this resistor, the potential increased by I DRS. So okay. Or you can use Ohm's law, Vs minus zero divided by Id equal to Rs. Yeah. Yes, because we believe that the potential will only decrease when we go from top to bottom, right? You only keep reducing. It's impossible that this one will be higher than this one because we only have one potential, yeah. Yeah, we did this higher than the ground and then every here, everything here is monotonic. It won't be go up again and then go down. Even if it is larger, this point needs to be lower than this one, right? Okay, so what do we want? Our goal, I did not tell you what we want, right? Our goal is to find the RD so that it is in saturation. And the saturation again is V G S um, minus V T H needs to be smaller than V D S, right? Just the typical equation. So we find the V S already because this time S is not zero, right? And we also can find V D, like what we did before, V D D minus uh, I D R D equals to V D. Okay, this is the second equation. And similarly, like last time, we have the V G equals to V D D times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Right? Again, through this potential divider, I find the V G. Right. But I need one more equation because I don't have ID, right? But this is simple. It's the same as last time. ID equal to W on L, mu C of divided by 2, V, G, S minus V, T squared. Okay? So basically, I have four variables. What are they? I have V, S, I have V, D, I have V, G, I have ID. But I also have four equations. Right, so all you need to do is just to solve it. If you want to torture yourself, solve it yourself. If not, put in Mathematica, okay? But it's a good exercise. And from there, you will know what RD you should get in, or in order to get, uh, am I right? Yeah, in order to get uh, it in the saturation, okay? For the second question, equation, is it, is it supposed to be IDRS? Or Thank you. Yes, it's a typo. Should be RD, right? Because, so this time I'm going from here. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Now, be familiar with this potential, right? Understand why I do that. And it's just like I start at this high, and then I know there will be a drop in the potential, ID, RD. I'm subtracting, I should be at this point. Again, this is just KVL, okay? Okay, we want to look at another biasing stage, right? So I forgot to talk about what we are talking about is biasing, right? We have different biasing. And one of these is called self-biasing. Look at here. 
I need to bias this gates using two resistors from this voltage source. Here, I just let it bias directly. Okay, so what is so special here? Again, I want to find the ID, RD. So it is in uh, saturation, but I can tell you it is always in saturation. Uh, why is that? What is this current? Zero. zero, no place to go, right? So if this is zero, then what is VG? Uh, uh, we can again use the potential methodology we did earlier. This is D, this is source, so this is G. So VG must be equal to VD minus I times IG times RG, right? Correct? But you just told me it is zero, right? So it is VD. So VG equals to VD. So as a result, what is VGS minus VT compared to? Then I just want to say that this is going to less than VDS. And why is that? Because they are the same, right? So this is just equivalent to VGS minus VT, smaller or less than VGS. Because they are the same. And a positive number subtracted by a, po sub a positive number is going to be less than itself. So this is always in saturation. So the design will be very simple. That is one thing. Of course, I also save some of the, uh, some of the resistor. Okay, and then from here, so I know it's in saturation, then definitely there's not much I need to do. This is just a biasing state. I want to solve the goal, right, is to find RD or ID to optimize it, but I know I equals to W on L mu C ox divided by 2 VGS minus VT squared. But VGS equals to VDS equals to what is VDS equals to um, maybe I don't write this. I just say we already have this equation. I know VG equal to VD. I know the I. And then I also know VD equals to IDD minus not IDD. VDD minus ID times RD, right? Then I have three equations. Again, then I can solve it. Oh, I actually forgot also I have this uh, RS, right? Because S is not at the ground, so I still need to do v, uh, VS equal to zero plus ID times RS. So basically, it's the same as the last one, right? But this time, my life is much easier because this is in saturation already and I know, the, know that VG equal to VD. Is that okay? Right, so all this, for all this thing, I want you to be, to appreciate all this equation that we have set up. That is the main point. I, uh, no worry about the mathematical skill. So that's it for self-biasing. So we design a circuit, great. We design a circuit and uh, they are biased well. Uh, uh, they, they are in saturation. We know what the ID is, what the VG is. We still have not uh, 